Uh, very good, yes. Oh, Redlington, you appear to be wearing an ocean rescue uniform. I am. I can't get out. Ooh, stay right there. I might just have the very thing. The animal rescue uniforms are a softer color so as not to scare the animals. And they are made from a material that is very easy to move around in. So, let's see how fast you can change into these. Crippington, get the animal rescue uniform on. Oh, no! Did you manage to get all those pizzas in your oven, Hannah? Just about. It was a bit of a squeeze. Great! I'll call Granddad and tell him they're nearly done. <gasps> Don't call Granddad, James! Call Fireman Sam! <laughs> Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe. Two oven fires have broken out at the Whole Fish Cafe! Penny! You and Arnold go in Venus. We'll take Jupiter. Roger that, Sam. Electricity. Penny, you put out the fire upstairs. Roger that, Sam. Power off, Sam. Uniform. I'm ready to fight the fire. I'm sorry, Elvis. It's too late. The fire's out. Oh. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Lady Pufflepaws and Norman have fallen into the river. Elvis, bring Saturn. My Norman's downstream! They're in the water! Downstream. The dogs! Trevor ate my sausage rolls! <laughs> Stay calm! We'll find him! I'm launching Saturn! Now! Elvis. Norman is safe, but I can't see the dog. Saturn's found Lady Pufflepaws. She's heading towards the ocean. We can't reach her in time. We can if we take a shortcut. <laughs> Get ready, Penny. <laughs> Come in, Elvis. Lady Pufflepaws is safe, well, ooh, and very licky. <laughs> mm. 
Norman, you know, if pets are in danger, owners should never try to save them. Always call a rescue service. And never play near water unless an adult is there to watch you. I'm sorry. But you did show you cared. Maybe you are ready to have a dog of your own. No way. Dogs are naughty. You tell them one thing, they do another. And they're always getting into trouble. Sounds like someone else I know. Come in, Penny. Steel here. I, I love my new desk. But why is there a slide in the lounge area? I thought we could keep the slide. We'll remove it immediately, sir. Ah, uh, oh, ah. Uh, yes, you may have to remove me first. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Penny, you and Elvis go in Phoenix. I'll take Mercury. Roger, Roger that, Sam. There. Now everyone in Ponty Pandy can come and get their healthy food. This way! No, this way! No, that way! No, that way! Me the odds. I want my mom! <laughs> I'm going to climb on now! <laughs> that stopped the engine, but you still have no brakes and you're heading straight for the cliffs! Elvis, I want you to throw a rope to the bus to slow it down. You mean? Yep. Get out your lasso and round them up, partner. Now hit the brakes, Penny! I'll be doing all the stunts myself. Perhaps these stunts are getting a bit too spectacular, Norman? I'm sorry, Sam, but don't worry. We've only got one more scene to shoot, and it doesn't involve any danger. I promise. Okay, Norman. Well, good luck. Jake Pond, Super Spy, scene 57. Showdown in the villain's lair. Action! Ah! Ah, Mr. Pond, I've been expecting you. Glove fingers, my old foe. <gasps> it's a trap. Number two, tie up the prisoner. And cut, tie up the stunt double. I don't like movie making. Or being tied to 
to a chair. Stop mm. complaining, James. All you have to do is direct a beam of sunlight through this magnifying glass and burn through the rope like this. Simple, right? Um, uh, Action! Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. James Jones is trapped in a garage full of burning oil cans. Sorry, Ryan. an oil fire, so we'll need the sticky foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam! Penny, shut off the electricity at the box. everywhere for that fox, Hannah. I really should be getting back. No! Please, Trevor. If we don't find him, Mom will be really mad. And if you go, we'll never get back. You'd be a real hero if you helped us, Trevor. <laughs> you got something in your eye, Norman? Uh, no. I, I... Look! Up there! I see something red, and it's moving. It's the fox. Oh, I'll get him. Uh, no, Norman. That's a very tall tree. Let me do it. I am Chief Pioneer, remember? <sighs> oh, I just wish that I hadn't had that oh, pot pie for lunch. Keep going, Trevor. Now a little to the left. That's it. You've got it. It's not a fox. It's not? It's a kite. Oh! 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 Right, Trevor? Uh, I think so. It's time to call Fireman Sam. I'm happy to announce Radar is 100% happy and healthy. Hooray! <laughs> I'm still a bit confused, Lizzie. Why has Radar been under the weather lately? I have no idea. Well done, boy. You deserve your favorite chocolatey treat. <gasps> no, Elvis. Chocolate can make dogs really ill. Have you been giving them lots of chocolate treats? Well, uh, no. Yes, maybe a few. Mystery solved. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Trevor Evans is hanging off the edge of a cliff. Penny, you and I will go in Venus. Elvis, call in Tom with the helicopter. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Go get him, boy. I'm proud of you. See him, boy. Oh, oh dear. Gotcha. Whoa, Sarah, 
Uh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh. Thanks. I made it. So, who's ready to play one of my games? Yeah! yeah. Anything but uh, make a mummy. But so this game is called Pin the Tail on the Spooky Cat. Can anyone else smell burning? <gasps> my house! My bag! Oh, this is so nice and peaceful. The cafe's on fire! Stop! We have to call Fireman Sam! Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Scanning area. Kitchen is clear. Fire Captain Steele has finally given up on the candy apples. Yeah, he's just there, Elvis. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ah! There is a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. There's a fire at a children's party at the Whole Fish Cafe. and the children are trapped in the back. Elvis, you take the hose and I'll get the crowbar. Firefighter Sam, air 100. Ready, Elvis? Ready, Sam. Firefighter Quislington, air 100. Keep back, everyone. One at a time. Take my hand and stay low. <laughs> That's it, Mandy. Come to me. Where are Sarah and James? What will be one standing boy? Well, this is relaxing. Right. On with the show. Uh, uh hello, Ponty Pandy. Done, Elvis. Oh, yes. Well, well done, Cridlington. Always knew you could do it. <laughs> yes. Right. All clear, everyone. Back to the station. Bye. Well, I just hope Mike does as well as me. Hello, Putty Pandy. I'd like to introduce you to the new member of my band, the Scrum Master 2000. Ta-da! That place I know where people say hello! Your new band member's not exactly Elvis, is he, Dad? He will be! Turn it up all the way, Joe! <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, no! Elvis really wouldn't do it like that! Dad, you need to stop! Someone needs to call Fireman Sam! Oh. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire. Mike Flood's guitar machine has gone out of control and set the stage on fire! <laughs> <laughs> 
Elvis, you and Ellie go in Jupiter. Penny, you and Arnold take Venus. I'll take Mercury. <laughs> Ellie, Arnold, you get everyone to safety. Elvis, make sure the power's off. Penny, you help me tackle the blaze. Power's off, Sam! I don't think the Strum Master 2000 will make it through his solo. Everyone, move back. Yes, you all need to be at least 5.5 yards back for maximum safety. All out, Sam. Oh, oh, my leg's gone to sleep. Well, can you wake it up and go get the pegs? Uh, please? Okay, okay. But no bouncing while I'm away. It's not tied down yet. Norman, what are you doing? My dad said it wasn't ready. I'm just testing it. What's wrong? Scaredy can't bounce as high as me. Of course I'm not, but... Come on then, Mandy. Prove it. All right, I will. <laughs> Woohoo! I sing my songs till I think I'll burst, but I never forget that I'm a fireman first. I love to rock and I love to swing, but the thing I love best is when the fire bell rings. A ding-a-ling, a ding-a-ling, a just one more verse. Everybody knows that I'm a fireman first. <laughs> I am the biggest bouncer. The biggest show-off, more like it. Oh, oh no! I better call Fireman Sam! Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Mandy Flood and Norman Price are on an inflatable bouncy castle that's heading out to sea. Castle heading north, northwest, Sam. Roger that, Ben. This is all your fault, Norman Price. We'll be fine, Mandy. This thing is full of air, so how can it sing? Oh, no, not you again. Shoot, shoot! Huh? No, no, stop that! Get off! <laughs> Hang on, Mandy. Hang on, Norman. I'm slipping. <laughs> Thank you, Fireman Sam. Thank you, Elvis. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's it. I'm not playing with you anymore, Norman, or that silly penguin. <gasps> Don't listen to him, Pengy. Come on, we'll show them. No! That's it. I've stood up for you. I told everyone you're a super penguin, and all you've done is make me fall over and look stupid. Derek's right. You are a silly penguin. Oh, my floodlights! Off the ice, everyone! Ah! 
I'd better call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink with a penguin. Norman Price is trapped on a burning ice rink. Oh, with a penguin. Did he say penguin? Come on, we'll take Jupiter. I think we're okay. The ice is melting. Uh, uh, the water will put out the fire. It's an electrical fire, Mike. Water just makes it more dangerous. What are we going to do, Sam? Ellie, you turn off the power. Arnold, you blast the fire with foam. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Sam. I'll get Norman. <laughs> Power's off, Sam. Stay calm, Norman. I'm on my way. Ah! Ah! ah. Now look what you've done. Fireman Sam can't reach me. Ah. Norman, use your penguin to skate to me. I didn't mean what I said, Pengy. You really are a super penguin. Now get me out of here! Come on, ah. Norman. Ah. You can do it. Ah. 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 be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Visibility will be limited. So half speed, and let's try the east of Ponty Pandy Island first. Over. Where are we going, Dad? We can help them find Tom. Visibility is worse than I thought. And the current is quite strong. Boat engines. I'm here! Hello! I'm here! I'm, I'm over here! Nothing's coming up on radar. Tom's dinghy may be too small to show up. Just keep your eyes and ears open, everybody. I can't hear me. Oh! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! I'm over here! Hey! Whoa! What I'd give to be back in my helicopter! The wind is northwest. The tide turns in three hours. Plus, there's a spring current running. Mm, there. That's where Tom should be. And Sam is searching over here, in the wrong place. The wrong place? Sam? Come in, Sam. Charlie, we're listening. You need to change course. Tom should be west of Ponty Pandy Island and a lot further out from shore. Are you absolutely sure, Charlie? I fished here for years, Sam. I'm as sure as any Ponty Pandy fisherman can be. Penny, Ben, you heard Charlie. Let's change course. Roger that, Sam. Hang on, kids. <laughs> I hope so, Sarah. I really do. Oh, I'm not sure how much longer I can hang on for. Uh, an engine? It's, it's a boat. Hey! Hey! Yes! Beauties! Oh, you found me! There you go, Tom! Oh, thanks, guys. Now, for the grand froggy finale! Where's James? It's his big moment! Oh, oh dear. Don't worry.
worry, Bronwyn. I can do it. I'll save the froggy fantasy. Norman, James is the star of the show, not you. But James hasn't turned up. Ta-da! Ah, oh, oh, stupid flippers. Ah, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My water lilies. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. There's a fire at the pool. The froggy fantasy has burst into flames. We'll meet you there, Arnold. We'll drive Venus and Jupiter down. That won't be quick enough. Tom, you'll need to winch me up. Right away, Sam. James? James? Oh, no! Here comes Tom! And Priam and Sam! Stand back, everyone! Sam! We can't find James! He didn't do his froggy finale and he's He's not... locked in the change rooms. What? How did that happen? I wanted to be the star of the show, so I glued the door shut. <gasps> I'm really sorry, Fireman Sam. I didn't know there was going to be a fire. Never mind that now, Norman. We need to rescue him and we haven't got any fire engines here. Oh no! What have I done? Tom, I've got a plan. I need you back here right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm heading for the changing rooms. They're not on fire yet, but they soon will be. Are you ready? Nearly, Sam. Just slowed it up. Help! Help! Oh. It's all right, James. Stand back. No! Uncle Sam! Hey. I've got you. Don't worry. Tom, are you ready? We're there, Sam. Elvis. I've got it all under control. for Tom's helicopter. I'm calling the station. There's only one thing strong enough to move this tree. Will anyone find us, Granddad? Don't worry, James. I'm sure we'll be rescued soon. You can do this! Easy does it.
company is ready to launch, Sam. And I'm ready to head into the mountains. Come in, Sam. Saturn has detected body heat just ahead of you. Over. Copy that, Elvis. Come in, Elvis. I found them, and I'm bringing them down. Roger that, Sam. I'll bring Saturn back. Oh, chew, sheep. You haven't paid for that. There's a flock of sheep stampeding all over Ponty Pandy. Sounds like they're heading this way, sir. <gasps> no, my model village. We'll need to act fast to set up a blockade. So, we'll need Arnold, Ellie, and Elvis to bring all the vehicles down. Then we can block off this street, this street, and this street while we round up the sheep along here. Roger that, Sam. We'll be needing our animal rescue uniforms. <laughs> up the runaway sheep now, sir. Thank heavens for that. Ah. <laughs> ah. Come back here, you silly sheep. Whoa. Ah. Oh. Ouch. Ow. Oh, my poor little vegetables. Got you. Ready, everyone? Three, two, one. Oh. Ah, now it really does look like Ponty Pandy. An emergency flare has been fired from Ponty Pandy Island. Penny, get Neptune ready. Elvis is on his way. Searching the island. But we're over here. Anything? Nothing, Penny. Sam, they're 
not on the island. They can't be far. You keep looking there, I'll go north. Yay! Over here! You don't think we're stuck out here, do you? No way. Not with Sam and the team looking for us. They'll find us. I told you. It's Ben and Hannah. I found them. You're on our way. It's my fault, Sam. I should have stopped when I felt my shoulder go. Well, we all push beyond our limits sometimes, Ben. Lucky you had Hannah with you. You okay, Hannah? I didn't finish. Off you go. Huh? Finish the challenge. Really? Well, she might need a bit of help. Go, Hannah! Pedal like the wind! did, Hannah. We knew you would, didn't we? Yep. So let's have a big cheer for Ponty Pandy's new kayak challenge champion, Hannah! Hooray! <laughs> 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 oh, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. Ah, you're back. How did it go? We didn't find one. What? A fire hydrant? No, a waddly penguin. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and Dylan Price and the penguin are trapped upstairs. There's a fire at the Cut Price store, and uh, Dylan Price and a penguin are trapped upstairs? Yes, that. Ellie and Arnold, you take Venus. Roger, Roger that, that, Sam. Penny, Elvis, we'll go in Jupiter. Do you think it could be the same penguin, Sam? Chances are pretty high, Elvis. Worry, Norman. Sam is on his way. Ellie, we'll fight the fire. Elvis and Penny, you get Dillis and the penguin. Firefighter Phyllis. Firefighter Sam. Air 100 It's the Waddly Penguin! Quickly, Elvis! <laughs> Hello, Waddly Penguin! <laughs> Ooh, he smells all fishy! I'm sorry I didn't take the penguin back to the zoo. I just thought it might like to live in my house. You need to know how to look after an animal before you try to give it a home, Norman. Animals are kept in exactly the right habitat in a zoo and have expert keepers looking after them. And I should have been more careful with those scented candles, Sam, and not block the door with those boxes. Well, I'm sure you won't be doing that again, Dillis. Um, uh... Lizzie, uh, who's going to get the reward? Reward? What reward? The reward for finding the Waddly Penguin. A year's free pass to Newtown Zoo. I didn't even know there was a reward. But I should get it because I found the penguin. What? I should get it because I wanted to take the penguin back. Well, I should get a reward for carrying that stinky bird upstairs. We could go to the zoo together, Trevor. Huh? Ooh, ooh, but I drew a picture of the penguin. Yeah. Well, I think the reward should be mine. Now, calm down, everyone. I'm sure we can work this out. Now, uh, who saw the penguin first? The most important thing in any animal rescue is keeping the animal calm. Oh, okay. Sorry. Right, uh, Wooly, um... It's not very sensible to be on a roof, you being a sheep and everything. That's better, Arnold. Come on, Wooly. One hoof in front of the other. 
gotcha! Whoa! <gasps> I thought we were here to catch a sheep, not a fireman. <laughs> Are we going this way, Norman? So we can beat Sarah and James. Now all we have to do is... How did they get there? We need to get ahead of them, quick! Norman, it's really dangerous to run down a steep hill. It's fine. Don't be such a babe. Great shortcut, hey, Mandy? If you like skin knees and mud all over your bottom. Huh? How is he doing this? Shh. Norman, you'll frighten the horse. The horse? Oh. Come on, then, Wooly. There you go. Gotcha. Well done, Sam. It wasn't just me, Lizzie. We're a team. Well, I didn't really do anything. You did? I did? Yes. You did a great big belly flop into the mattress. <laughs> mm. Come on, Mandy. We can ride the horse to Ponty Pandy Point. We'll easily beat James then. But I can't ride a horse. Neither can I. But how hard can it be? It doesn't even have a saddle. Riding a horse is easy, Mandy. You just have to get on and say, giddy up. I've seen it on TV. Ugh, there is no way I'm getting on that horse. It's dangerous. There is nothing dangerous about being on this horse. Ah! Ah! It looks pretty dangerous to me. So much for your silly map. I'm going to do it. I'm actually going to win. Ah, wait. Where are you going, Horsey? Horsey! Do you need some help with those, sir? Oh, no, Sam. It's your birthday. You just sit down and have a rest. I'll test these. Yes. Well, all right, sir. Huh? Oh. Ah. Oh. Are you sure you don't need some help, sir? I'm fine, Sam. Yep. Oh, you just relax. I'll try, sir. I'll try. So, what do you think, James? I think it's really unfair that you called me here to fix it, but you didn't call me here when you were going to play with it. That's because you're so brilliant at fixing things. Hmm. Glue. Screwdriver. Pliers. Hmm. That should do it. I said you were brilliant at fixing things. Mm-hmm. And I'll be the one to test it. Oh, well done, James. It's driving really well. Uh it may be driving really well, but I can't make it stop! The throttle's stuck! Oh no! If we don't get it back, Uncle Sam won't have a birthday present! Quick, Hannah! Follow that fire engine! Whoa! Ooh! Uh, Sam? <laughs> Sam? Sam? <laughs> Sam! Ah! What is it, Elvis? Don't you think we should go and help fire Captain Steele? Are you sure you're okay, sir? 
<laughs> yeah, yes, thank you, Sam. All fine. Just relaxed. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Apparently, he's fine. Careful, James. I'm trying to be careful. Ah! Oh, Sam is going to love his cake. Huh? Oh, my! Someone shrunk Jupiter. Ah! Oh. Huh? Fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. That's a new one. A fire-breathing dragon has set fire to Bessie's shed. My Bessie's in that shed. All fires are out, and Bessie is fine, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, Ellie, I might not have gotten into the smoke room today, but I did get to fight a fire-breathing dragon. <laughs> you did, Elvis. <laughs> oh, dear. It looks like Norman might be about to get a good telling off. From Fireman Sam? No, far worse. Norman Price! I can't believe you nearly set Fire Captain Steele's Nelly! Uh, I think you'll find that's Bessie. Fire Captain Steele's Bessie? On fire! I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't do it on purpose. I know it was an accident, Norman, but you were playing with matches. And that is one thing you should never do. I know, Fireman Sam. I'll never ever do it again. <gasps> Wait a minute! That's my best hat! Told <gasps> you! Norman, you said it was what brave knights used to wear. You are in even more trouble now, Nora Price! Come here! There you are, Fire Captain Steel. Bessie is safe and sound. Well, you look a bit sooty, old girl. But we'll soon have you clean, pristine, and gleaming. Ooh, there's a bit of dirt there, sir. Hmm, and a bit of dirt there. Oh, and that bit's very grubby. Oh, you missed a bit, sir. If you're stuck, give him a shout. He'll be there to help you out. So move aside and wait for Fireman Sam, cause he's gonna save the day.